Good morning, everyone. Um, I was looking at some of the comments and um, some of the other videos, and I ordered the Tati Beauty products, both of them. This is the box it came in. When you open it up, you have Tati's face. I've already taken the stuff out and looked at it. The back of the Blendiful, No Harsh Lines XO Tati, and it's a nice little bag. This, people were not lying, this is very heavy. Um, beautiful is your story to tell, XO Tati. I kind of want to find a way to put this up in the background, but I'm at least going to find a way to stick this in the room. I'm not getting rid of this box. I have pictures of Laura Lee over here, I have Huda Beauty's little thing. So, <laughs> I'm still working on this room. But yeah, but the first video I'm gonna do with this is I'm gonna do the Blendiful and then I'll move right into this with another video that'll go up tomorrow. I'm thinking of doing like a Welcome Wednesday where we welcome new products into my collection. But I did wanna um, start off with the Blendiful, of course, cause that's the newest product and it's the cheapest product, it's $18. So we're gonna take this and gently put it over here so I don't fall. Okay, I already have my moisturizer and everything on, and I do have some breakouts going on, and I don't know what to do with them. So here's the little one. Let's get the little Tati Beauty thing on it. And there's cleaning instructions on the back of the box bag. Mm -hmm. It says, do not bleach, do not dry clean. 100% poly yester machine wash and dry delicates laundry bag or gently hand wash in warm soapy water where it's thoroughly and blot dry so i'm going to keep this till i can write those down and oh this does feel soft here's the blendiful and i believe i'm going to start off because i wanted to make sure to use it with products that y'all possibly have so i have the elf poreless putty primer and I'm gonna put it on my hand. And I'm gonna reach in there. Cause I know she says to use cream products, not so much liquid products with it. I mean, get in closer. I think you do that motion to make sure to put it. <laughs> Eric's sitting on the floor in here with me. He's afraid to leave me. Yesterday I had to go somewhere, so now he wants to be right next to me, which is nice. I'm just putting a light layer of the primer everywhere else. I like how it comes off clean. Mm -hmm. Let me try to. I remember watching her video, so I think I wiped it too much around here because I didn't see any get into the pores. Okay, now the next product I'm gonna use is the Flower Beauty Light Illusion. I can't remember if it's too light for me, but you know, we're doing it. All right, so I'm gonna put this on the palette. And I think the pump has gone out. Sometimes when your pump goes out on things like this, if you take them out, because this is a full bottle and you put it back in, it kind of gives the air pressure back to it. There we go. Just a little tip <laughs> for you. All right, now we're gonna take the Blendiful again and I'm gonna put my finger like right there for it. And Mm-hmm. 
I can't remember how she says to do this. I probably should have refreshed by watching the video. It's very soft. I like how soft it is. I'm trying to watch how I'm doing it because this is the first time I've used it. This is first impressions, first time touching it. Y'all saw me take it out of the package. I'm just putting a little bit on the eyes because it seemed to get up there. Ah, it's on the edge, that's why. I think it's easier for me to use without my hand in that thing for right now for the foundation part. I'm just trying to make sure I get it everywhere. Wow, I still have foundation on the palette so we could go down the face. But it is looking really beautiful. I turned the light down, I'm thinking Eric turned it back up. Let's see. I haven't used this foundation in a while, but I remembered I liked it, so I wanted to use it for this. And it's a really good coverage. It looks really good. We're just going to take a little bit that's left on the palette and make sure to get around the nose area because of the red showing through. And my hair keeps coming out of this thing. Let's go ahead and put that back on. Something's not working right on it. I like how the makeup is not feeling heavy on my skin, but I'm tired of my hair sticking to it <laughs> right now because I'm trying to put makeup on. All right, there I go. It does have a really nice finish to it. All right, we're gonna take the e.l.f. Camo Concealer, mostly because this always creases on me and I wanna see if I could get a non-crease with this. We're gonna fold this in half. That might be too bright with this foundation. So we're gonna try to blend it downwards. I'm just dabbing motions. Let's use the other side. A clean side, see if we can get And then we'll use what's left from the concealer and brighten up other spots. We'll just add a dab. I'm actually taking some of it off.
Okay, we're gonna take this mm. blendable. And we're just lightening those areas that I normally lighten. He is literally sitting right next to me. I think he's thinking I'm gonna go somewhere. I do like that so far the concealer is not creasing as much as it normally would have. All right, next, we got this end. We got this side right there. I don't wanna flip it over just yet. Let's go ahead though and take this It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores powder. And I'm gonna use the small blendable. You know what, actually, I'm gonna use the other side of the blendable right here. And I'm just gonna take a little bit of powder and puffing it off on my hand just to make sure the under eye doesn't crease. See how much powder's on it? I'm taking it, some of it off because I'm not trying to bake. I'm just trying to set. All right, so we're gonna leave that to the side for now. And then we're gonna go in. I um, got the Naked Skin Shape Shifter Palette by Urban Decay. And we are gonna go into the shade that I always use, which has no name on it. And we're going to fold this like a taco, like she says. And we're gonna take that shade And we're going to contour. The face, that might be too low down. I do like how that's working. Can y'all see that? I didn't do the buffing in with the sides because I want to make sure it's in the right spot first. I'm just kind of patting it down. I want to blend that harsh line right there. There we go. Okay. It looks like it works better if you use the edge, but I did notice this with that other one. It's kind of like an eraser and it kind of puts it where you want it. Let's grab it at the very, very tip top and see if we could. Let's go ahead and I'm trying to circular that right there, circle it up a little bit. Okay, let's do the under. I want to take a little bit very lightly on the nose. It's a little big, but I wanted to check and see if you can do it. Oh, that was my regular finger. Now I'm using the rest of it, like the whole area. 
to just kind of just grab a clean spot and just kind of blend that in. That's not bad. It's not perfect, but that's user error, not blendable error. <laughs> okay, we are going to take a little bit of a clean spot here and we are going to take some sleek highlighting elixir, illuminating drops. This is a liquid highlighter. You know what? There is a cream highlighter in the Shapeshifter palette. Yeah, we're gonna use that instead. We're gonna go to the bottom of the clean side. So we're gonna flip this around. Definitely gotta clean this after I'm done. Okay, we're gonna take some of that liquid illuminator. I mean that um, cream illuminator. I can't remember if I have cream blush. Oh, you know what I do? Let me grab that real quick. It's, um, can't remember if it's a new one, if I've used it on here or not yet. Um, oh, and I have a color pop. So let me look at this cheek heat by Maybelline. This is in the Coral Ember. I'm gonna pop a little bit of it on here, on this little palette where I did my foundation. Literally just taking a little bit. We're gonna go onto this corner. Let me see how it, okay. literally not showing up it didn't even show up on my hand but that is the product not the blendable so we're gonna take the color pop one and this is in between the sheets we're gonna put it on the same end because this is like if you watch it when you move it around it's got there you can see that one It's a little more blushy than I would normally want, but we are trying out these products. And then I'm gonna take like a cleaner side and try to blend it out a little bit. I'm sure the powder will lighten it up. Ooh, wee. I hit pan on that blush and I've barely ever used it. Okay. Now we're going to go back in with that highlight shade. And we were, yeah, right there. Let me see if you see where the light hits your face. sure what I think about this blush I mean literally it looks like that on my hand you see the like right there let me see it's like does it show up but it's scary when you look at it right here because see how dark that is <laughs> okay now we're gonna take some more it cosmetics powder this time we're gonna stick it take some of that out and we are going to take you know what we're gonna take the baby blendable i don't go anywhere for to have to worry about touching up my makeup and we know the whole thing is um clean 
so I don't have to worry about transferring products because I used up the entire blendable. I'm just kind of putting powder on. There's some lines with that, so I'm thinking, um, I kind of like the brush better for that part. I mean, under the eyes, that worked perfect. That was creases from the foundation. Yeah, the blush is definitely popping through. Don't need to add any on top. All right. Overall, I kind of like how the blend before worked. Let me see if it shows up better so I can show you. See, there's like no pores. There's no harsh lines like she says. I need to quit wrinkling my forehead when I look down. Need to clean up my eyebrows. I do like how this looks overall. So, so far, I like this. I'll use it a couple more times. You'll probably see it in more videos. And I need to get a better cream blush if I'm going to use it with blush because you guys know me. I don't like whoosh, blush to be like out there. <laughs> so, um,. I got to put more products on. This is 22 minutes. Um, I will see y'all in the Tati video in a minute. So I'm going to finish the powder products for my face off camera. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Um, today is Tuesday, so I'll see you Wednesday.